Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic Channel, everybody. In today's video, I'll be going over my new favorite high lift jack accessory. You have chosen wisely. All right, guys, here is my high lift jack setup, and today is just going to be a quick video going over a product spotlight that I am sure you guys are going to love if you have a high lift jack, of course. And the item I will be going over is a handle keeper from Agency 6. So what this does is, of course, replace the high lift jack handle keeper right here. This is actually not the high lift jack brand one. I did have one of those to begin with, and I guess it sort of deteriorated over time and ended up cracking over here. So I got a replacement. I'll put a link for this down in the description because it's about half the price as the genuine high lift one. And I mean, it's just rubber. So, so far, so good. So just in case you did not know, the handle keeper keeps your handle from shaking around, uh, attaching it to the base right here. So if it's mounted on the side of your truck, wherever, it's not making noise, driving you crazy. What this metal version right here does from Agency 6, it takes that a step further, which I will show you in just a second. While the regular rubber or polyurethane handle keepers are certainly fine, they do a great job of eliminating the movement of the handle right here in a, I guess, vertical up and down. You can see it's not moving at all. However, laterally, not so much as you can see. So this will eliminate that. Secondly, what I love about this one is if you guys have the longer 60 inch high lift jack like I do, and it sort of makes mounting it a pain, I always keep the foot or whatever you call this end piece in this 90 degree orientation. So of course, if I ever have to use the high lift jack, I have to take this off. And to do that, I would have to remove this, straighten it out, retighten it. Not like that's a huge pain, but it's just an added step. So I'll show you this once I get it mounted in just a second, it will eliminate that step. All you gotta do is jiggle it. You just get it in there, jiggle it, jiggle it, jiggle it. And as you can see, using this old style, obviously the way you install it is from the end. So you can see the parts right there loop over the handle and I guess the main body of the high lift jack. When I put the new one on in just a second, you will see it actually latches from the side. Of course, you can orient it anywhere you want as long as it lines up with the openings here in the middle. And as you can see, nice and secure, moving the handle in an up and down and side to side method. So this is one less rattle you'll have to worry about on the trail. This is 100% steel, I believe, made in America. It has a nice powder coat on it, nice little company mark right there if that's gonna show up in the shadow, Agency 6. I will put a link for this down in the description below in case you guys wanna check it out. The only drawback is it's a little more expensive, obviously, than the regular rubber and handle keepers coming in at $35 currently. However, the genuine high lift handle keepers are about 17 bucks anyway. And I already told you the one I had sort of disintegrated and snapped. So I had to replace that anyway. So coming in at the price of two of the genuine high lift handle keepers, not that bad, really, especially if you consider, I mean, this is going to last forever as long as you, I mean, if you're keeping it on your truck at all times, just watch out for rust but it seems like it would be an easy fix to do a little touch-up paint if you do get a scratch on it and it starts to rust. All right, guys, short and sweet today. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think of the new upgraded steel high lift jack handle keeper from Agency 6 and if you plan on getting one yourself. Going wheeling this weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach my high lift where I keep it in the bed of the truck for wheeling trips and I'll let you guys know how it performs. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.